Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tylerius, aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. All right, today's video, I'm giving you guys 2024 solo bunker money guide. All right, I'm going to show you guys exactly what you need to do if you are not in the bunker business already. Maybe you want to move and you just need some information about you know how much things cost and you just want to refine your solo bunker money making process. All right, I'm going to go over everything with you guys. All right, it's a quick video, uh, so hopefully this helps. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments down below so we can kind of you know, help everybody out with the community over here, definitely, all right? Now, before we go any further, if you guys enjoyed this video, if it helps out, make sure you are subscribed to my channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss out on any future content just like this. Money guides, tutorials, live streams, all that good stuff, okay? So if you do not know, as of the filming of this video and releasing it, Bunker money is double cash money right now. That is epic. It's really good. So I'll be going over what that looks like and just what the normal prices look like as well, okay? But first things first, let's go ahead and get started. How do you buy a bunker? Pull up your phone, go to the internet. I want you guys to go to Mays Bank Foreclosure right here, all right? Go ahead and click on the Enter the Site tab. Go to the top right and click on the Bunkers tab. And then zoom out a little bit, and you can see all the different bunker locations. Now, there's two, maybe three locations I want you to focus on. The first one is the farmhouse bunker. It's normally two million three hundred seventy-five thousand, but right now there's a thirty percent discount on bunkers and upgrades, so it's one million six hundred sixty-two thousand five hundred. The other location is the Chumash location. That's the one that I have. I like that one. I love the sunsets on the back side of it. It looks really nice. That's about one point six million. Okay. Now for the Cosmetic upgrades, you've got bunker style, you don't need that. Personal quarters, that is so it enables you to spawn inside the bunker. You may want that, but you don't have to have it. That's 265000 The shooting range, I do like the shooting range. It gives you some cool perks once you complete uh, certain tiers. Don't have to have it though, but if you want it, $845,000. The gun locker allows you to uh, customize your weapon wheel loadout. You don't have to have it, but if you want it, $175,000. And then transportation, you get little golf carts inside there. You don't need to have that at all. But if you want it, up to $120,000, okay? And again, the bunker style is up to $290,000 because there's a couple different styles in there. Once you purchase your bunker and you're on the inside, uh, you'll go through a tutorial with Agent uh, 14. to kind of just give you a little rundown a little bit. Uh, there'll be an initial like resupply mission or whatever. Uh, but once you're past all that, you'll go to your laptop right here and you're going to log into the Disruption Logistics website. And once you're inside here, this is kind of like the interior of the bunker, uh, you know, mainframe, right? And this will, you know, this will give you the chance to not only purchase supplies, uh, make your sales, but also purchase your upgrades. And it is absolutely essential that you purchase upgrades, not only for the bunker, but for all businesses to ensure you maximize your time to money ratio, okay? As you see on the left side right there, you'll have all those different little categories. Let's start out with buy upgrades, okay? So first things first, you have the equipment upgrade. And as you see right here, it gives you a brief description. The equipment upgrades are gonna cost you $1,155,000. Again, this week, it's a 30% discount. Uh, if you already own the bunker business, always wait until Rockstar puts them on discount. It is getting few and far between, though, as we uh, as we kind of already know. Next up, you got the staff upgrade. Uh, again, I'll give you a brief description. The staff upgrade will cost you five hundred ninety-eight thousand five hundred dollars. Normally, again, this week it's a thirty percent discount. Okay, so keep that in mind. And then, last but no, not least is the security upgrade. And yes, the security upgrade does make a difference. It doubles the amount of time that you can spend inactive before you get that bunker raid, all right? And that'll cost you $351,000. That's the last um, upgrade that you should spend money on. But yes, I do recommend that you still get it. However, if you are a so if you follow the solo guide, you'll never get rated at all. So don't worry about it. Um, all right, but yeah, I still just for peace of mind, three hundred fifty-one thousand dollars not that big of a deal. Okay. Next up, you have your uh, managed staff. Now, if you're going for the money, you always want to assign the staff to manufacturing. Uh, if you want to get the research done, assign it to the research. I, I'm not a big fan of assigning staff to both. It just doesn't work for the money or um, the the research. I mean, it does accumulate for both, but I would just focus on one or the other. Totally up to you, though. They all have a, their pros and cons, right? And then uh, finally, you have the purchase supplies. Now, you can purchase supplies from the bunker directly or the arcade if you have a master control terminal or your terabyte if you have that as well. But going from the bunker itself, this is very important. Uh, you can also steal supplies here. It's a, a steal supply mission. 
And then, you know, your supplies will be 100% profit, right? Or your, your actual uh, sale will be 100% profit. But time to money ratio, it's always best to buy supplies for $75,000. That's what you want to do. And then your sell stock tab, this will allow you to sell. You've got two different options, sell to Blaine County. The sales are a little bit easier, a little bit quicker, but absolutely not worth it. Always, 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 repeat after me, always sell to Los Santos. Okay, that location, that'll maximize your money. Normal payout, normal sale payout is $1,050,000. Again, this week, it's double cash money. So it's $2,100,000. I'm about to break down what all this looks like. Now, again, if you are a solo player, Follow this guide. It, you do not need to fill the bunker up all the way. People kind of uh, get this confused. Some businesses, it is worth it to wait until they're filled all the way up because there is a multiplier. The money will actually compound with the more product and supplies that you get, right? The bunker is not that way. So you can sell one round of supplies or fill the bunker all the way up with five rounds of supplies, and it's the same thing. Right, So this is why the Solo Bunker Money Guide is so beneficial to the solo player. It not only guarantees you easy one-vehicle sales, you'll never get rated either, which is really nice. Okay, So again, follow this program, this setup, this guide all the way through. Okay, So it's real simple. Buy one round of supplies. That's $75,000. Let the supplies produce. It takes two and a half hours from start to finish for your supplies to produce, and that will equal $210,000 when you go to sell to Los Santos. Now, when you go to sell, make sure you repurchase your supplies in that same screen, the Disruption Logistics page, right? Now, once you sell, you're going to have one vehicle. You'll be good to go. Now, this is what the actual numbers look like. $210,000 gross. Uh, you subtract $75,000 for the purchase of the supplies. That equals $135,000 uh, profit that $135,000 broken down by two and a half hours of the amount of time it takes for it to produce from start to finish. That's $54,000 per hour in net profit. Now during double cash money, this is why it's so good. It's actually $138,000 per hour because the purchase supplies are not double, just the actual payout. So it goes from 210 to 420. So you take 420,000, subtract that from 75. And that's how you get those numbers. Again, it does not matter if you do this one time or five times, it's the same time to money ratio and payout. So don't stress it. You don't have to worry about filling up your bunker all the way, especially if you are a solo player. You can just get this knocked out. Follow those steps exactly, and you're in the money, and you're making great passive income. The bunker has always been and always will be good passive income. It's a really fun little business to run. I like it a lot. So keep that in mind. Now, is it the best passive income in the game? No. Is it the best money you know, method? No. But you add these things together, your passive income businesses. You add them all up with your active income, whether you're running crates or you're doing heists. And these are always in the background cooking for you. And it's great profit. It really is. It definitely adds into your money grind portfolio. And it's absolutely helped me get rich. So uh, it'll, I know it'll help you guys get rich as well. So there you guys have it. Let me know if you got any questions in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the Ills of Rose content and the game smash. I made mean, smash that like button. See you in the next one, right? Peace out. Yeah.